Hey everybody, AJ here, and today we are doing some cool stuff. It is Saturday, and what Saturday means is that we are at the Air Museum because the high school aviation club that I work with uh, is meeting. So we have middle school and high school students come out on Saturdays, work on airplanes and projects and things of that sort. So uh, yeah, if you haven't seen it before, it's really, really cool. So uh, let's go see what we're working on. Let's go. Josiah, what are you working on? I'm working on the A3, sanding it down so it's nice and soft. So this is what airplane? An A3 whale. So what are we doing to it? We're sanding it down and cleaning it up and stuff like that. That's cool. What other projects have we worked on before? Uh, our Sensen, a model engine, and a lot of other stuff. It's really fun. And how old are you? I'm 13. All right. Daniel, what are you doing? Putting stuff on a shelf. You're putting stuff on a shelf? That sounds so exciting. Yeah. Yeah? Why, why are you putting stuff on a shelf? Because Brad told me to. Because Brad told, because Brad told you to. Yeah. Okay, fair enough. Daniel, what other projects have we worked on around here? An engine. An engine? Did you help on that? Yes. Was that cool? I guess. What was your favorite project that we did? The engine, because that's like all I did. The engine? Yeah. We gotta go check that out then. Do you wanna go check it out? Let's go. Let's go check it out. We cut these cylinders in half and pulled some off. That was a pain in the butt. We pulled all of these off, or at least three of them off, and then we only put one back on fully, cut the other one in half, and left one off. What are you talking about? What are these? These are cylinders, uh -huh. and then this is the engine block. This is a piston. And then the gearbox is back here, which we have here, so you could see this. And it turns, doesn't it? Yeah. Some of it does? Yeah, some of it in individual parts. So what did this engine come off of? Like, what was it used for? I think we determined that this one, when we first started on it, we said it was a amphibious engine. Yeah, so this is a Continental, I can't remember if it's a 240 or uh, I think 450 is, is the two's I mean. It's Continental 250. Okay. 250. So it's Continental 250, and this was a radial engine used on airplanes. It was also, it was also used on, um, landing craft and things like that. So I think that's what you mean by amphibious. It was also yeah. used in amphibious vehicles. So these were really popular during World War II in that sort of era. Um, we actually, Brad's biplane, his Stearman, um, it has one of these on it. So what was the, what was the point of the project? Like, like To show people what it looked like inside and the gearbox and just make them have more of a idea of what an engine looks like on the inside. Cause all you see is the outside normally. So we wanted to show them what everything looked like. The, pistons, the piston rings, the gearbox, the inside of a um, cylinder. So just to show them the inside, not just the outside of an engine. That is so cool. And how old are you, Daniel? 13. 13? What did you know about airplanes before you joined this club? <laughs> that they flew in the air. <laughs> that they flew in the air? All right. Let's go see what other people are up to. What are you guys looking for? Let's see if there's um, a fire extinguisher in here. Uh, I think there used to be an ABU here, and that's what hooked up this and drove the hydraulic pump. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you think the ABU, APU is what powered the hydraulics? Probably. And then we're gonna put some uh, <coughs> masking on it. You don't have to mask this off, but just mask it right about here, yeah. all the way around, okay? It's real simple. After lunch, we're gonna put the bond on it. Josiah. So what's the, why why are you sanding the uh, the A3? Because we're gonna need to uh, put not what it's called, but it's some big word that we're gonna put down so we could paint it. Bondo. First, yes. Okay, let's walk over there. So first we need to sand it down so it's nice and smooth to get it ready for all that. And so we painted something else, haven't we? We painted other airplanes before, haven't we? Yeah. Yeah. What did we do? The Blue Angels, right? The Blue Angel cockpit. What do you mean by that? Um. So we got a. Blue Angels cockpit from Orlando, Florida, wasn't it? Oh wow, do you want to go show me? Sure. All right, let's go. All right, so what is this thing? This is the Blue Angels F4 Phantom, the nose that we got from Orlando, Florida Museum. So yeah, we sanded it down, made it look beautiful again. So we got this F4, uh, this F4 Phantom cockpit from uh, the Aviation Museum, I believe it was in Pensacola, Florida the Naval Air Museum that we got. Actually, I think it says right here. Yeah, so we got this from uh, the Naval Air Aviation Museum in Pensacola, Florida. And so this thing was, uh, you know, once they retired this airplane, they chopped off the, uh, the cockpit and they put it on this trailer and it was here and it was sitting out in the junkyard 
over on the other side of the restoration hangar, just sitting out in the junk junkyard rotting for, you know, years and years and years. So the first project that we worked on with the kids is uh, we took this cockpit, we got it from the museum and they sanded it completely, um, completely tore it down to nothing. Uh, paint, uh, and then the restoration crew painted it for us because um, uh, we didn't have any equipment to, to actually paint it with the kids. But, but they sanded it, got it all ready for paint. We um, detailed the trailer, we detailed the inside of the cockpit. So uh, yeah, it looks awesome. So the whole idea was that once we finished the whole project and the and the cockpit was looking all nice and nice and new again that we could uh, trailer it out to events and have and have people sit in it and give us donations for sitting in it and taking pictures yeah. so that we could uh, we could fund the club right mm -hmm. yeah so so was were you did you work on this project no i wasn't i came here after it was done yeah, so Josiah is our youngest member. How old are you, Josiah? I'm 13. 13, yeah. So he's our youngest member. And uh, so how much did you know about airplanes before this club? Well, I was always into airplanes from the moment I was born. So, yeah, I knew a lot about airplanes and stuff, was, especially World War II airplanes. I really love that era. Yeah, that's so cool, huh? All right, so one of the other projects the kids worked on was this Stinson Goal Wing. Let's go talk about it. Hey, Eric. Yeah, what's up? So tell me about the Stinson. Did you work on this project? Yeah, I started working on the project back in uh, 2020 uh, when I first joined the club. Um, uh, well, the first project I started working on was actually an F4 cockpit. Um, then I started working on this uh, because Brad considered me the most knowledgeable person about aircraft history and, and I guess, maintenance. I probably would too. <laughs> yeah, probably would too. Um, uh, he decided to put me on the cockpit. I had to redo all the instruments, all the uh, carpeting, all the wood panels, and everything, and all the windows, all the screws. It was a bit of a it was a bit of a journey, but it was the same nonetheless. But uh, I mean, I don't know, it was a wonderful project to work on. I had a lot of great people working on it. It was um, really interesting to learn everything about this uh, aircraft uh, since it was built in the 30s. How flaps are operated by the um, polymeric pressure. Yeah, basically the equivalent of uh, pop-up headlights for airplanes. Which is something I, I never really thought of it that anyone would ever do. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, I worked on it for a few months. It's got roll down windows. It's. Uh, do you want to? Yeah. Do you want to show me the inside? Yeah, I can show you the interior. This is, it used to be a military version. It was converted to a civilian, so it's only got this one door. And okay. yeah, I can take it. And then back in the 1940s, this served with the uh, RAF. You would normally just have your pilot and your co-pilot seat, but the co-pilot seat would be facing towards the rear. And in the back right corner, right over there, there would be flare pods pointing out of the floor. And effectively what you could do is that this was sometimes used as a rescue aircraft. You could mark positions by shooting flare pods down towards the ground. Then later back um, after World War II, it was uh, sold to the civilian market and was converted into a civilian aircraft, which is why it now has uh, back seats and another uh, co-pilot seat and another yoke. So this is um, originally the military version, but it's interesting to see what uh, people did back then to convert it into a civilian aircraft. So some of the stuff you can look in the manual for the aircraft and it still has all the specs for the military um, edition of the airplane. Thanks so much for talking about it. That is yeah, an nice. awesome project. And yeah, no, now we're working on this thing, which is gonna be a whole another beast to take care of and it's probably gonna be another good year uh, of work to get done with it, but they seem eager to get at it. That's awesome. All right, thank you so much. Yeah, no worries. So the main, re the main purpose of the Aviation Club is to give these kids who don't really know that much about aircraft, about airplanes, about aviation in general, to give them an opportunity to come out here and learn how to work on airplanes, learn how airplanes fly, give them uh, chances to get scholarships. We've given four different kids $10,000 scholarships, not including myself, um, to, to learn how to fly. And so, you know, it's really, it really gives them an opportunity to come out here and learn. I mean, a lot of these kids, when they come out, they, you know, they really haven't learned how to work on cars. They haven't turned a wrench. And so we give them a lot of really, really cool life skills. So that's what I really, really like about this, this club. So everybody, thank you so much for watching. If you want to see more about the club, please let me know in the comment section down below. And everybody, AJ is out.